guys, I didn't want to film everything we were getting ready, but engine on the crane. We got the car jacked up on some jack stands here so we can get underneath it. Hopefully we can get over the front. You can see in the years past they've actually cut the radiator bracket to get the engine through. I'm just going to set this off to the side and listen to us bitch and scream through the whole thing. All right, so I guess we can go up, David. My oil pan is um, wider, but I don't think it's any deeper. So that shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's start moving it in before we get the weight too high. Good. And I can, I can actually run the equalizer and tip the engine forward. All right, oh, that, oh, that. tip it too as we get yep. the tranny over the top we can tip it down so, so let's motor. go in a little bit okay, I'm gonna come my way a little bit on the front here I'll be the steer here oh we're gonna hit them damn jack stands too maybe what? I don't know well we don't know that go yet. ahead Tilt it. I, mean, I put the crank on the wrong end. That was a good investment. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you. Oh, yeah, you probably could. You gotta tilt it quite radically to get it under. I really hope those jack stands aren't in the way. Okay, I'm hitting the damn chains now. So we'll go back a little bit more. Back up? Push it in. No, push it in. Tell me when it's good and then we're almost okay, hitting here. stop there. Okay. Now you're almost hitting back here on the oil pan. I'm gonna tilt it even more. It came out this way, so it's gotta go in. <laughs> Like you're saying, maybe the handle is. Problem is, I'm having a hard time reaching this. I probably could push down on this. Yes, I can. Well, so, so we're gonna have to try switch? to push forward and work it under. Can yeah. you do that, or do you want to sure. get? A... You tell me whatever you want me to do, Bob. And... Well, we kind of we got to get that end down more. Okay. We can't go any lower with the oil pan. We might even need to go a little higher back up yeah. again. Do you want to do that part, or do you want to do the end push? Let down? me do something with that handle. Tell you what I'm Bend it out? Yep. Well, remember here, right now, right now it's against your car, so. Here. Yeah, it's it's a squeeze. Well, I just, I would rather have it not hit against the car. Right. 
There we go. There we go. See? Wait, American wait. ingenuity. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm leaving the cotton here. Hold on, hold on, okay. I think maybe we can manage that. I don't know. It's all right if the handle rubs against the top of the hump. Here. The problem is, is just getting the leverage to get in there. Yeah. You want me to be pushing down, Bob? I don't sure, whatever, you can get up on the car even if you need to. Well, okay. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to inch it towards you a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we just got to push it down hard. Gotta go in. It came out. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna get up uh, just right here on the side. You need a chair or something? We can crank it down a little more. Let's see. Do you want to go? Which way do we want to go with this? I'm okay right now. Can you crank it this way? Counterclockwise. We need to. <laughs> All right, now from this angle. Let me put some oil on it. I think do we need to do that more? Well, if you can get her pushed down, I don't know how. Now, now that I'm up here, I can kind of All right. Do it. Don't get underneath it anywhere. Yep. In case anything decides it's going south. Mm -hmm. mm. I can come down mm. a little bit. Hold on, hold on. I'm well over the hump here. Let me lower her down just a little. down a bit. Oh, we're, we're well away from the jack stands. She wants to run down a hill. I think I need your help a okay. second up here. We just need to push that whole assembly. We need to twist this. You got that? We need to twist the front that way a little bit. So we need to push or pull it. What? Right. You can't budge it, so I'm either hitting the firewall good. Yeah, I am. Okay. So. All right. So my line. Well, you got to push her down now again. We got to be inside and. Okay. And I can see why they tear the radio bra radiator bracket out. Uh -huh. You keep on hitting it, then you keep hit. So, she's a heavy girl. Yeah. Now, do I need to come down some? I don't know. Yeah. I can bring it down another couple inches. Watch your hands. Okay. I'm going underneath, you're good. Going the right direction. I'm just touching the radiator wall. Can I come in now? Oh yeah, you're going underneath the firewall, so what we want. That's where we want to be. I can come down more. Okay. Hold on, watch your hands. Yep, I'm clear. Oh, sweet. Just drop it in there now. I can't see underneath the, uh, the firewall. Like, I'm hoping to go underneath there, but I can't see if it's hitting anything else. I don't think there's anything else. It's going to go right, it's almost ready to go into the shift hole. You hear it? Yeah. Go get, get down a second. Okay. Okay. And look on the hump. The shifter is probably pretty close to being through the hole. Maybe not quite, but can you help me just nudge this forward? I, I couldn't get it to move. Oh. Yep. Oh, no, stop. You can't. You're, you're hitting the bump. Oh. Up. Okay. Well, we're as far as we're going. Yep. That's why it's not moving. All right, well, I got to put a little more lower down just a little bit. She's just inside the firewall. Or not the firewall, the radiator bracket. Oh, look at that. We made it. Yes, we're in. She's in. Okay, I Keep her down. going. It's all right. It's, it's just scooting along the bottom of the hump. 
Oh, look at that. She's slipping right back in there. Hold on. Perfect. A little chuck. I think we should kind of can you straighten her back, flying her back out a little bit for? The what's that? Is that it's hitting, Crank it? It's hitting this. Oh, we got to go lower. Anyway. That's why I didn't put the valve covers on. No, if you go down, I can hold it away. Okay. I think. Okay. You can go down quite a bit now. Well, still on steady. Okay, she wants to come back on we might have to pull it out just a little bit. You want me to pull it out or keep going? Pull it out that way. Mm -hmm. A little bit. A little more. All right. Now I can hold it now. Okay. Now ready to keep going? Yep. Okay. We're past the lifters. Now. Keep going? Yep. Whenever you say that, I stop. All right. Hold it there. Okay. Let's see. If I actually. Uh, yeah, crank like I said, it. You need me to change the switch? Uh, I need some oil. Somewhere here I got some thin oil. You think I can find it? Uh, yeah, I did. I'm going to oil that. We're almost in, boys and girls. Drop some oil on these threads. It's it's actually a oil for a shredder, <laughs> but it's thin. I've been using my air tools. <laughs> good work, good work. I'm trying to level this just a little bit now. It's working too. Okay. Let me see underneath there. Oh yeah, we got a long ways to go. Well, we're to... All right, Dave. Lower a little bit. Lower down. All right. So, stand clear. Here we go. Hold on. Uh, your handle's doing? hitting the car, so that's going to start interfering. The, what's uh, the, car? the handle of that crank. Oh. So I don't know how that's going to really go. Do you want me to get up there and try doing that, or should we jack uh, Can it you up? go that way? Okay. Pull it out a bit. There we go. You want it to be at this severe of an angle still? Yeah, I know. I want it to be down here. Okay. There you go. I think that's good. Just don't want to hook my wires. Yeah. I'd like to be able to crank it some more, but it's so hard right where in the position. What we got to do is we did clear the bell housing on the suspension down there, so we just got to start keeping it coming in. So it is down or, down or forward? Or back, whatever. Just bring her down right now. Okay. I'm trying to hit this jack. Okay, I'll keep going down. You ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're on the suspension, so we got to come backwards now. Okay, towards the back of the car? Yep. Okay, you ready? Yep. I'm on the jack. We're almost, oh, we're you almost, push in, oh, shit. We're almost in the engine mounts. But. It has to go back. I think I need to jack up the transmission right now. Okay. We've only got about four or five inches back to go. Yeah, it, we're getting close.
already. Whoa, whoa, shit. Oh, it's man? No, it's it rolled a little back a little bit. It's alright. I'm looking at the engine mounts too, Dave, so. Yeah, I can see them. So we got, I know we gotta go back towards you, but or you get set with the transmission and then I can push back if I need to. Do I need to lay, raise it more? No. The tranny? No. no. I just need to come, I think we just need to level it out a little bit and then. Well, that would be letting it down, but we gotta be able to drop it into the, the motor mounts and I'm hitting over here. Oh, okay, well this side just. I'm hitting on the motor. Oh, we're hitting, oh, oh there we go. Okay. Yeah, we gotta shift it this way just a little bit. Do what? Shift it this way just a little bit. It's the bottom that's gotta move. All right, here we go. You need to get down there, Bob? No. You don't have to get down there. We just need somebody here to hold this. Okay, you definitely shift the stand. I'm just I trying didn't... to get it so they're right over the motor mounts. Yeah, it didn't shift yet. It didn't shift? No. This must be hitting something here. Yeah. Well, it's on the transmission. The so, engine uh, mount's hitting over here. Huh? It's hitting the the mount plate is hitting. It's just not it's not lined up, but it's hitting. That's why we can't shift it. Oh, it's okay. You, I think it'll slide back. Well, um, let me jack it up a little bit more. That'll raise that. Yep. Jack the tranny just a little bit. Yep. Like I said, if you want to switch, Bob, you let me know. You keep on getting up That's and down. Right. Shifted back quite a bit, which is good. Yep, my jack is actually rolling, so that's good. It's this thing again. It's on the wrong end of the goddamn thing. How hard is it to take off? It's welded. Oh, I can okay. take the handle off, though. The handle is just a couple of nuts. So close. So the handle is going to be on the other side, huh? This is weird. Take a goddamn hacksaw and cut it off. I know what I need. I can't bend this properly. I'd like to just bend it. There you go, me again there. So it looks like I gotta raise it some more. Because this I'm sitting on the back corners. The flanges are on top of the mount. See, we only gotta go yep. back an inch. Yeah, and then once when we you were back, jacking up that back there, that's was helping. Oh goodness, yes. Mercy me. Well now you can't crank it. Now now you're stuck there. I was just trying to get it down out of the way too. Get that wire out of the way. All right, I'm going to jack her a little more. All right. I would like, I want to try pushing it back towards you just a tad bit. Do you think oh, that's the room? Oh, the and it's almost up into the uh, shifter hole. Uh, you're dang close, Bob. The, uh, the passenger side is lined up great. The driver's side's up a little higher, but I think it's lined up, though. She's hitting the firewall, so we just got to start dropping it, and I got to start. So put a little pressure on it. What's just that mean? lower it just a oh. little bit. Put some pressure on it. Are so as ready? soon as yep. We're just an inch from being in the slots. Oh, look at that. It dropped right in there, too, Dave. Okay, do you want me to stop right here? No, no. Keep going. Go ahead. On she goes. Okay, she, almost the bolt holes are almost lined up. 
Let me push the transmission towards the passenger side so it drops over. Okay. I mean, honestly, it's like, whoa. He just dropped in. That's what I wanted to hear. A thing of beauty. Just dropped right there. Yeah. So. Well, and that's why I want, didn't want to go too much. I don't want to go past so. You can drop a little more. Okay. It's not hitting anything else. It's going to yeah. drop more when you shift, when we shift things around. That's what I, what I was afraid of. It's just about perfect. It's just about perfect. Just, yeah, let it down. We might be able to take the weight right off it. Yeah, keep doing that. Look at that. The holes are lined up. So, basically, I just got to jack this up more. All right. Well. All right, hold on. Hey, Bob, hold on. The driver's right. side is lined up, I think. So, if you can slide a bolt through there, it might be good to get... High five. There you go. <laughs> She's in the... First, uh, first he's in the down. right position, and uh, basically just the bottom will adjust when I put the, the transmission hanger. So. Yeah. Okay, so this side we can put in. The other side, I think maybe just shift it around. Just shaky, shaky, shaky. Yeah. Shaky, shaky. We're lined up. Engine mounts. This side, do you think would fit? At least the front. Should I do it from the back so that it's easier to tighten the nut? I don't know if the back lined up. Is it? There you go. Look at that, it's through. One bolt. You want me to get it? No. Okay. Just get it on loose. Because we're going to need the twisty twisty. Yep. That's how I wanted to get that one in. See, I must have the angle just about. But see, I was watching the back of the transmission. Yeah, you got to go down just more hair. Okay. Well, here. I just want to make sure, like, so, like, if I just shift it. Yeah, yeah. I've still got to go down. I can see it's okay. popping back up when you stop pushing. Okay. So it's got weight on it. Okay. There you go. in so it's in yes. as good as it's going in. I don't know if I can get that bolt through. Yeah I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want to drop more than we need to. Can't get that see how the holes in Yo, the yeah. lined up. You want me to get a screwdriver in there Bob? So you don't want to hurt your threads. Yeah maybe we need to well, actually, that's not going a, I want to look for a washer too. I've obviously lost a washer. Let me. Uh, I can. I can uh, jack the back here a little bit more too. You watch for me and see if that makes it settle. All right. Hold on. Honestly, yeah, hold on, hold on. I don't think we need to really do a whole lot more, Bob. Yep. I was worried about getting the shifter up through the hole, and she's up there perfect. Obviously, we did it. Yeah. So here, you want to get your washer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jiggle this down here. Like I said, you might be able to get. Where's your screw? Oh, okay. I've got a, a big rat tail file. Will that work better? Yeah. I mean, you're like right there. I just, again, I don't want to mess with that. That's the thread. Let me see the back of the
Can you get her? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so. It'll settle itself in there. You don't want to put anything on the boat? I was going to put a washer. Wait a second. I got to find the. I've got to find hardware around here somewhere. There it is. This is the original hardware from the 68. Water from the water from the I don't think you can get it in from the back to the start. Uh, I don't care if you have to tap it in. Well, I'm doing this. I need something round, almost that big. forms the threads, it'll make them vibration proof. Engine mount bolt, engine mount bolts are in. So see, there's no room, no, no uh, fit problem with that oil pan. I'm going to leave, this is on there loose, but I'm going to leave it on just okay. for now in case we need to put some tension or something on it. I don't think <laughs> we need to, but... Don't need this one anyway. Going back down. Now I gotta just fit that tranny uh, cross member on. I was ready to start. No, I got a lot to do. I still don't have the fuel pump hooked up or the fuel line or the carburetor. The carburetor needs to be rebuilt. Alright, I'm gonna get my other glasses. I need one of them long bolts. Give me one second. Yes, it does. <laughs> She's a champ. Well, I need that hammer when you get a chance. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, I moved it over here. I just need to flatten. It's a very stiff counter uh, And it doesn't run it down. So I'm going to thump on it. something pointy. Oh. Was that before you got it or after? Yeah, yeah. I know you missed a lot underneath the car, but 
just putting bolts back in the brackets in a miserable place. So we're going to move the crane. Oh, here's a holster. And then I'll get the frame off the engine. I'm going to slide this back. I can go anywhere you want it to now, baby. No. I probably will hang on to it for a little while, but truthfully, I'm probably done with it. Or you can just do them with players. I mean, that's better. The old bolts didn't break. We're hanging on to them. I didn't crack that one yet. Probably old bolts and they're rusty and trusty. And you need a pair of pliers? Help I get this. There we go. Come on. I drove men an inch, so. <laughs> Come on, there we go. There's a good the... turn. Oh, okay, there's now a block. They're going into aluminum, so. Okay, hold on. Almost there. I'm just trying to take Almost it away. There. there you go. That, that hey! Okay guys, I know this wasn't super informative because we just showed a side view, but you can see we've got her back in. Uh, down there are the motor mounts that uh, I already had on the engine, so that one big bolt you see right there had to be put in to the existing bracket on the frame. Same also, of course, on uh, this side, that one. So we got those in and tightened up. Everything's always hard because you're leaning and bending and stretching. Um, we, with the oversized oil uh, pan, I was still able to get it in. And underneath, I'll try to give you a little overview here. Ugh. Or an underview, whatever you think of it is. This is the transmission cross member that I had to put in under here. And it's just kind of like a saddle. And that's the header pipe. It goes under the, the transmission here. You can see the tail shaft. And it goes up on the other side over there. You can see that other bolt in the center. And then there's two big nuts on the bottom. So we're just jockeying the engine around to get that to fit. And uh, I got the speedo cable put back in up in there. Where is she? There. Got the... There's contacts under here for the uh, backup lights. So now we got her jacked up real high. I've got to get back under here when I get the ambition. 
and I gotta put the drive shaft in, I've gotta fill the transmission, which takes a little doing, because you gotta pump it up in with something. You can't dump it in unless you got a really, really long funnel or something. Dry shaft's gotta go in back to the pumpkin. And I gotta get the headers bolted on the engine and dropped in, but I'm procrastinating on it because I want to um get them sandblasted and painted first. And I've I should have been doing that in the meantime, but I didn't. So it's gotta be done now. Alright guys. That's it for the engine install. Ugh. Oh, we've jacked the back. I jacked the car up real far, real high. It's on uh, tall jack stands, so I can get under there easier. Um, one thing we did is when we tipped the car, we lifted the back of the car first, and the fuel started running out of the fuel line down here. So I uh, ended up putting a clamp on that. All right, guys, that's it for the install for now. Take care. God bless. We'll see you next time.